Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. I've been hearing great things about a family band from many of you, and I'm super intrigued, especially after reading a little bit more about them and their history. So today we're going to check out this LA-based band made entirely of siblings between the ages of 13 and 22 and performing what they call vamp metal, covering one of my favorite songs, Holy Diver. Let's get to it. I was not expecting such a deep sounding voice or also the gr the rasp and grit in it and um, also some of the stylizations from someone who is so young. I think Melody is, that's the lead singer in the band. Uh, I think she's 20 years old, might be 20 now, 19 at the time of the filming. I'm not sure what, how old she was when this was filmed, but the sound is... Uh, it's got a lot of warmth in it, which is really cool. Okay, I want to go back to the beginning. Um, <laughs> I love, so I read that the dad essentially sent the kids to school, to a music school, assigned each one an instrument and said, okay, we're going to do this. And it was a way just to keep them busy at first. And I love that what's come out of this is this like gothic metal band, right? Thank you, dad, for supporting all kinds of music. It's awesome. <laughs> This is such a cool setting for it. <laughs> she did a good job of getting that Dio-like feeling in that first line. <laughs> from some of her hand motions. I think she's watched and studied Dio on this quite a bit. Uh, let's go back and let's talk about some of the other uh, siblings here. Here we go. Great. Okay. And so on the drums, we have Abigail. Uh, <laughs> just so cool to see a girl on the drums. I just, it's not very often that we get to really appreciate that. Go Abigail. You're awesome. Um, on lead guitar, we have Samuel. And then we have Ethan on the bass. And we have Justin on the keyboard. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I just love, I love that this is a family thing and that it's also really good. <laughs> okay, keep going with that. Cool. 
It's so clear that she has studied the harsh vocals to be separate from the cleans. I I hear very good indications of the vocal folds still being healthy, the true vocal folds, and that she's able to engage other mechanisms to create these harsh sounds. So major kudos to her and her teacher for being uh, for really taking the right approach on that. The lookout and the way she just had that purely harsh was really cool. building that voice up into that top note and having some good support and belt on it too. There's something about her that reminds me a little bit of Britney Slays too. I'm really excited to see where they grow as a group and family and band. I feel like there's there's a lot, well, I guess, since this has happened, they've become a, a pretty big sensation. So yeah, I'm excited to, to hear how that's developed and to see where it goes. There's so much potential here. Jump, jump. You can feel his heart, but you know he's me. Someone like him never be seen. That E vowel sounds like it's a really good vowel for her in that upper belting. Sometimes when you're working on some of the, especially those strong, full sounds before you flip over into a higher register in your voice. Finding your optimum vowel can be crucial. And it sounds like that E vowel helps to gather the sound there, makes it really nice and clear, uh, clean. It helps it give it more cut as well. So if you're working on sort of a similar thing where you're working on trying to build your voice up and learn how to maybe take your belt a little bit higher, try out different vowels, see what you like. Uh, some people prefer an ah up there. Some people prefer an ooh. There are a few trends, but they're not the same across everyone always. So just try things out and notice which vowel feels easier to you. And then once you find that vowel, I, I like to suggest threading. So it's almost like through the eye of a needle, threading the voice through that same feeling. So wherever that vowel feels in your face, in your vocal tract, try to thread your other vowels through it to achieve a similar um, strength in that particular vocal area. Back just a little bit. You can feel his heart, but you know which me. Someone like you never be seen. Yeah. <laughs> Was that good technically? I also feel like it was a nice performance. Like all of all of these siblings seem to have good stage presence. I think I read that they performed regularly at the Santa Monica Pier for a while. And if you're gonna do that, like 
you have to learn stage performance. You have to learn how to get out there and, and put yourself out there. And this seems like just really awesome, awesome training for all of them. It set them up incredibly well to uh, rise to fame and take advantage of that. That's very good. <laughs> also, obviously, great hair runs in the family. <laughs> nice. I would describe her sound as being very full-throated. Uh, it is open, the area in here has a lot of extra space, um, and that's partly why we're essentially enhancing some of the lower overtones, which makes her sound like she has a deeper tone quality overall. Um, if you think about it, uh, lower notes, they have a slower wave pattern, right? They're created by the vocal folds going wacka, 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 at a slower rate. Higher notes are a much faster rate. And so bigger spaces are more likely to enhance lower frequencies. Smaller spaces are more likely to enhance higher frequencies. And um, you, can, you can see how this gets enhanced within the overtones. So a lower or more space within the vocal tract will often be enhancing the lower overtones overall, which gives it a warmer sound, a deeper sound. And if you have a smaller space, it's often gonna enhance the higher overtones more, which give it a brighter sound. Of course, uh, the vocal tract isn't like one chamber. There's lots of different things in there that can sort of divide up chambers, cause um, the sound waves to bounce off in different ways. So we have ways of manipulating this to create both lower and higher overtones are a mixture of different ones that get enhanced, which is really, really cool. Um, and also can lead to just things like vowel formation too, because your tongue is part of that. So um, this overall, what I'm saying for her is that it sounds like a more open-throated sound um, that is really increasing the warmth and depth of her voice. It's clean, don't you see what I mean? <laughs> nice lunch. One of the things that's interesting about what she's doing is she has a what she she has an offset that is part of the style that she's developed. So after she sings a line, you hear extra noise after that. Diva. She does a little extra. That kind of sounds like a vampire uh, hiss to me sometimes. So I feel like this really works for this idea of vamp metal. <laughs> Hear that sound afterwards again? <laughs> nice, good breath control on that. And then she's also doing little cries in it too. So she's kind of pulling up from a lower register and getting little breaks in the voice, which is awesome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they had a little growl at the end too. Those offsets definitely are, are uh, feel like they're becoming a signature part of her style. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, 
Check out one other thing here. I feel like she studied Freddie Mercury. Because right here, after the, the, the stand twirl, she's got the knee up as well. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, and twirls of the times. Yeah. Wow. What a smart dad. I love that he sent them to music school. And he said, okay, each one, different instrument. We're going to put a band together. That was some great strategic planning. And he encouraged them to perform out on the streets. That kind of experience at a young age, too, that is incredibly valuable. And I think he's really set them up for success. Not to mention, I love the vibe between them. It must be so much fun to perform with your family. Ah, that's super great. I love it. If you want to see the first time that I got to hear Holy Diver ever, it was a precious, wonderful moment for me. You can check that out in this video over here, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.